Before we start the video, just a quick reminder that I do have a Discord server, so if you haven't yet, please join it. We can chat there, and also it's a good way for me to communicate with you in case something bad happens to the channel. If you're interested, the link to it is in the description. Yo, what's up guys, it's Summer of the Wolf 469, and welcome to a new Ninjago video. Crazy that these episodes are releasing during school, but well, episode 9 of Seabound released today, so I thought I'd make a quick review. I'll say my thoughts, the pros and cons, and ultimately, how I would rate the episode on a scale of 1 to 10. 10 being the best. Got it? Cool. Let's get started. Also, spoilers. Duh. So just to make things easier, since I'm making this review unscripted, I'm going to be mixing my pros and cons into one section, so hopefully you're cool with this. The start of the episode was pretty good. I like seeing Glutinous tell Kalmar about where the Uncharted Island was, or the Island of the Keepers, it's not Uncharted anymore, but... I found it kind of convenient that he knew where the Storm Belt was. Like, I don't know how he was able to conclude that the Storm Amulet was there. It felt kind of odd to me, but, well, that's it. There was this one shot of the Hydra Bounty arriving at the Island of the Keepers, which was very reminiscent of the ninja arriving in their catamaran, so I liked how that scene mirrored that of Season 14. Really good stuff. I found it funny when Jay was hugged by Pularic. Really heartwarming there. <laughs> Gift of Jay. There was a lot of Nia focus in this episode, which I really liked. I liked how she stepped up to be able to take the Storm Amulet from the Keepers and be able to take it to Ninjago to protect it from Kalmar. It's true though, the Keepers probably would have not been able to stand much of a chance against Kalmar and his forces. But well. The big thing that I don't like about this episode is that the thing with the fake amulet felt a bit convenient to me. Again, like the beginning of the episode. Somehow, the fake amulet was there. But you would think that the fake amulet would just be a random placeholder. However, it had the exact same design as the real Storm amulet. When did Clutch Powers have the time to manufacture something like that? Bruh! I don't know if this was before or after Season 14 that he took it, but that just disturbed me. How was Clutch Powers able to get it? Anyways, the rest of the episode was pretty good. I really liked that confrontation between Nia, the other ninja, and Kalmar. This was on the Hydra Bounty, I really liked that. Kalmar continued to be threatening, so really good stuff. Him frying the controls of the Hydra Bounty was just, like, eyeballing to me. Like, that was just a crazy scene, honestly. I felt really worried for the ninja. There was some really good choreography between Nia and Kalmar in the water, I really liked that. And yeah, at the end of the episode with Nia getting hope again from Maya and shedding tears, that was really emotional, so really good stuff. So overall, this episode was very plot heavy. Like I said before, I really liked the focus on Nia and all, but there were a couple nitpicks I had. I found it convenient that Glutinous knew where the Island of the Keepers was, and that fake Storm Amulet thing was just... No, I didn't like that. But well, with all this in mind, I'm gonna give the episode a 9 out of 10. It's really good, and I haven't seen episode 10 of Seabound as of the time of this recording. I'm gonna watch it as soon as I finish this video, but... Yeah, good stuff. Anyways, what are your thoughts on this episode? Please let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching, everyone, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out. Bye.